Hey guys, it's an ugly mug back again because there's more GTA plane and there we go. All right, so there's a new plane out today. Well, plane glider thing. It does, it does matter. It's the pyro. It's the weird looking one that has the tool fin thing, big fin back. Um, I do believe that this one is just like the uh, JF22 Sterling, I think is the name. It's the one where it doesn't actually have a working engine. It's basically just a jet thruster on the back that you activate and deactivate. Um, I haven't done any missions, so I can't afford the cheap one. But, if that is the case, then it's probably going to be worthless. Because that Sterling is not... <sighs> I mean, it's good to fly, good to, it's quick takeoff, good to fly, jet charge doesn't really affect you too much. But holy fuck trying to land that thing, because you can't slow down the engine, because it's either on or it's off. When it's off, then you're still going fast. It's... Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see if it's worth your time. All right, the pyro is here. I went ahead and replaced it uh, with the uh, mogul because holy crap, that thing. Well, it's crap, so that's why I replaced it. Anyway, let's go ahead and see because planes don't usually have very many mods. What this hat armor, obviously. Uh, countermeasures, flyer, engine, uh, handling. We'll go race just to see how it is. Livery. The Arthur Squad, obviously, sure. Uh, Royal Takeoff, Griffin Fighter, Blizzard Force, Grey State. Ooh, Ice Phantom. Crimson Fleet, Emerald Phantom. Okay, so there's a decent amount of them here. I'm going to go... Nope, not that one. That one. Respray, guess what color? Yeah! Boy! And that secondary crew, obviously. That's... It doesn't look too bad. Uh, blue, blue in the back, blue in the front, a little bit of blue all around, everybody. Uh, no missiles. Homi oh, wait. Homing missiles. I didn't this have bombs on it? I could have sworn this had bombs on it. Remember, because uh, a, a modder actually spawned in one of these in the middle of the road, and Omar got into one, and it had God mode, so everyone thought that Omar was modding because he picked up a modder's plane that had God mode. And it was hilarious. People were pissed. And I thought he said it had bombs on it, but oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, exit the hangar and see how this thing flur. And right trigger. Oh wait, no, it's a. Oh my, you fucker! You lied to me. Omar said this thing was just like the Sterling, where it had like the thruster that you had to uh, turn on and off. Maybe that's a different plane. I don't care. All right, so let's see how this thing flies. Very slow takeoff, I do have to say. Obviously not explosive cannons. Uh, handling. You can obviously do a nice roll. A uh, little slow on the up and down, though. Whatever the climb and climb and de ascend and descend. Wh whatever the pilot -y terms are for that. Missiles and... Is it rapid fire? It is rapid fire. All right, so at least it has that going for the missiles. Uh, is that my head poked? No, okay, that's just the... Yeah, I thought my head was poking through. But uh, it's pretty quick. And let's see... Oh. Oh, wow. oh, that really changes direction quick. Look at that. But uh, as far as doing loop-de-loops, pulling those Gs, that's yeah, okay. Um, if you're going to be spending this kind of money, might as well just buy a Hydra at this point or something. Actually, for most of the planes, I'd probably recommend buying a Hydra. Except that uh, Tus Tuskuna, the, the Russian one, that one's pretty good. Because it has counter uh, measures, obviously, and uh, rapid-fire missiles. This one does counterfire countermeasures and rapid fire missiles too, so. Actually, eh, well, it's also expensive as hell, so there's also that. Get all, get either one if you want them. But if you already have that Russian one, the MIG looking one, don't buy it. If you already have a Hydra uh, and you want something that has countermeasures and you don't like the look of that Russian looking one, uh, you can probably buy this one, you'll be fairly satisfied. But then again, you know, since the out outcome of the, or the start of this DLC, how many times have you actually flown in a plane? Yeah, probably not that many. So, uh, la of course, last thing first. Uh, I need to land this piece of fecal. So, last things first. We have to do our explosive test. Die. God, that's race landing. And perfect place to do it is in the tunnel. Or just outside the tunnel. And No, peyote, move. Fuck it, peyote's getting it. And... Hmm. Not as many explosives as I have, ah, whatever. Doesn't matter if there's no one in the plane and can't fucking tell. If you have armor on it and you take a hit when they're actually firing the plane, you, I think it's like one or two missiles before you actually go down. 
It's all the same, just like that fucking Bambushka one that they had last time. Or, no, not last time. The Flying Penis, whatever it is. Yeah, but, uh... So, there. There's the short and sweet of that new, uh... I forgot the name of it already. Uh, if you have a Hydra, want to get a jet because you only use missiles that also have countermeasures and you don't like the look of that Russian MiG, this would be a good alternative. If you already have the Russian MiG or a Hydra and you don't really care, don't bother. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys, uh, enjoy this, this quick rundown of whatever this plane is, and, uh, I'll see you in the next update. Oh, also forgot to mention, uh, there is a new adversary mode, Stockpile, Stockpile 1 through 7, as usual with these, well, 1 through 6, 1 through 7. Uh, it basically seems to be where you just fly around, collect some stuff in the air, and then bring it back to a base. I'm sure that there is a normal name for that that Rockstar didn't use because people copyrighted or whatever. Uh, so this basically means that this, there's going to be a bunch of people in this adversary playlist for probably the next two weeks. And then you're not going to be able to find a lobby after that because no one plays adversary modes anymore because there's too many of them and they spread the player base too thin. So uh, yeah, if that's your thing, have fun for the next two weeks and then uh, don't have fun at all.